when okay you mentioned the whole fractional scaling thing I, I guess we probably talk about that one so what actually was the issue with uh with scaling yeah uh on when you run something on x wayland at least on sway i don't know if this is true on kde or gnome mm -hmm. uh if you have fractional scaling enabled and you run something in x wayland it doesn't actually scale it all it does is it blows up the window so it's at the lower resolution as if it was 1.0 scaled mm -hmm. and it looks terrible so the reason the main reason I wanted to support with and Factorio was so I could play it on my laptop at the 1.25 scale mm -hmm. and not have it be blurry. Mm -hmm. And okay, okay. I, I think that was yeah, that was one of the things you included in the um the uh in the post, blog. Yeah. Yes, the blog post. I I when I read that part, I didn't really understand what the issue was, but now that you're explaining it, that actually makes sense why that screenshot was there cuz Maybe maybe I just didn't understand it when I read through it because you mentioned X eleven on one side, whale on one side, and I was very I was confused about why there was like a difference in quality. I I probably just misread it. <laughs> yeah, it could have been better. You can see under the screenshot uh, that says "Notice how the game renders at the display's native resolution when mm. running under Wayland." That's basically the only mention I did. Uh, there were a few things in that article that could have been better. Mm -hmm. uh, another misconception that a lot of people got is that we were dropping X11 support. So I had to clarify that on Hacker News and say, no, we're not dropping X11 support. You don't mm -hmm. have to worry. I guess, so the, the Wayland support was there when you got there already, or was that something you added? No, I added that. Okay. Uh, SDL supports Wayland, uh, but our build system was not set up to build it with Wayland support. So that okay. was my first task, was to get SDL building with Wayland support. So why did you actually feel the need to add the Wayland support instead of, you know, because most games, because most games are just running through Proton, they're still using X Wayland, even if they're running under Wayland. Why yeah. did you feel the need to actually make it natively run on Wayland? Because of the screen scaling, mostly. Okay. okay. Uh, that's the primary reason is the screen scaling because it just looks so bad on my laptop. Because mm -hmm. I have a framework laptop and it has a high DPI screen, ah. and uh, it's it can it, one point it was way too small. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is the um what is the um resolution of that display? Oh um I don't know off the top of my head, but I can find out. <laughs> It's pretty big. It's like almost, it's like 1.5 times bigger than 1080p. Hold on. So like 1440p then? Uh, it is uh, 2256 by 1504. Oh, I forgot it has a 16 by, t is it 16 by 10 display? It's a, it's a three by two. Oh, so okay. That so it has, it's like 1440p, but slightly bigger than that. Uh, right. Okay. Okay. But it's a really tiny 13 inch laptop. So it's a pretty ah. high density there yep 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 okay that makes that makes sense and why you definitely the scaling um yeah well yeah even well, honestly even i would need probably need the scaling at that i think anything 13 inches like 1080p is is already kind of rough but anything more than that and yeah like if you get yourself like a 4k 13 inch laptop like <laughs> like you're just gonna that run it at 4x more. scale yeah, maybe not. Oh, no, it's 2x because it's two times each dimension and then it's four times total. Sure. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I always forget that too, but I, I make a point. But uh, yeah, it's uh, not usable at 1.0. So I really wanted to be able to play Factorio on my laptop. Mm -hmm. And considering how much like little like elements there are on the screen, I guess like having that blurriness would just make it really unpleasant. It wasn't unusable, and the game was perfectly playable that way. I'm just very particular, and I want things to look pretty. Sure, yeah. If if you want the game, you just want the game to look how the game should look instead of looking like you're looking through like a a blurry, a, a, a dirty shower screen or something. <laughs> right. Yeah. And aside from that, it's also just because you know Wayland, whether or not people like it, Wayland is the future. Mm -hmm. So. If we want to continue our ongoing Linux support, we need to support Wayland because mm -hmm. that's just the way Linux is going these days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It, it it's going in that direction. <laughs> How going. long it's gonna take? Maybe maybe we're the tortoise instead of the hare, but it's going. Yeah. Well, I will often hear people say things like, "Oh, how is Wayland not ready? It's been getting developed for fifteen years, but X eleven started in nineteen. 84? I want to say 84. Um, you were correct. Yes. 
Yeah, no, now I remember what. Yeah, I I keep saying every time. <laughs> every time I think of the um the year it started, literally 1984. I I just yeah, X started in 1984. X11 was 1987. I just googled it. Ah, <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So. It, you, it, you got it. It's taken a bit of time to get here. Like one of the things that people take for granted nowadays with X11 is the ability to hot plug monitors, because that wasn't a thing when, like, b before I think Xorg, sometime in in the Xorg life, I believe, or maybe it was late X3D6. But in the 90s, you couldn't hot plug monitors on X11. You had hmm. to plug the display in change your config, reload Xorg, and then your display is going to work. That's incredible. And that's if you don't light your display on fire by including some weird settings that would break your CRT. Right, yeah, because back in the good old days, when everything was a lot more manual. Yeah. You mentioned the uh, whole source code editing with Minecraft. Um, you don't want to have that level of, of control over an electronic. Yeah, hey, uh, faster frame rate hack. Here you go. Run this script that you downloaded. Wait, there wasn't an internet yet, but uh, run this script that I gave you on this on this floppy disk, and and then it just catches fire. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, uh, nowadays, um, you can't most of the... There's, like, weird, very weird edge cases on badly made displays where you can damage things, but most things... It's just gonna black screen for a bit, and then be like, "Hey, you're stupid. Don't change. Don't do that setting." Yeah, there was actually one time uh, on the laptop I had before this one, which was an old Dell one I got from my last job. Uh, there was a kernel bug mm -hmm. that was introduced that made the display. After I woke up from suspend on my laptop, the display would flash black, white, and then black, and then it would like flicker and do all sorts of crazy things. Mm -hmm. Turns out that it was the bug was such that if you let that go on for long enough, it would kill the screen. Oh, because there was something like display synchronization, low level, really low level stuff was going horribly wrong, mm -hmm. and it was putting a lot of stress on the display hardware. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I had to roll back to a previous kernel to fix it. Mm -hmm. 